happy home groomers, it's Melanie Newman and Dash the Bichon here. In today's grooming session, we are going to grind down Dash's nails with the Sheer Magic Nail Grinder. If your dog does not like his nails being trimmed, then this might work perfect for your dog. So let's get started. If your dog is a little bit sensitive to the noise of the nail grinder, it's important to start the conditioning process straight away. So just turning it on and showing him what the tool is. And even when it's on, just lifting up his front leg and that will start conditioning him to the process of what's about to happen with his foot. And even holding it, to the foot on the other end, we'll start getting him used to that grooming process and just do small steps at a time. There's no need to rush it. Dogs need to be taught how to be groomed and how to behave. Good boy. So our first step is that Dash feels quite comfortable with me trimming his nails when he's sitting down or lying on his back. So I try and groom him where he feels most comfortable. Our first step is going to be just lifting up his leg gently and moving it outwards. So not up sideways, it's out in front of him. Good boy, buddy. And then I like to put their foot between my two fingers, like so. And then I can use my thumb to push away his hair. So as I've pushed the hair away with my thumb, I can also gently squeeze his nail, just gently, and it just keeps it in place for when we're gonna start the grinding process on his nail. So I'm just holding it in place with my finger underneath and my thumb. And then I'm going to turn on the grinder and just gently do small parts. If your dog has long hair like Dash around his little nails and you're having trouble removing the hair away from the nail so then you can grind the nail, a good tip is to use a stocking or I like to use, this is an exfoliating glove and I prefer to use an exfoliating glove for Dash so his nails can just slide through those little holes. Using the palm of the glove, I'm just going to pop that over the front of his foot and just pop his nails through the little holes. When we are grinding the back nails, I tend to come from behind the dog and I gently pop my hand underneath my dog so we're supporting our dog as we're lifting up this back leg. And I just gently lift it and I'm not lifting it out sideways, I'm just lifting where it's comfortable. And I just put their little toes between my finger and thumb and I just gently squeeze a little bit so the nail pops out and it feels secure for him. I prefer this nail grinder because it is battery operated so when we're using it it's not super fast and it's quite easy to manage and shape that nail. So Dash's nails are all filed down and all nice and smooth so when he jumps on me he's not going to scratch the back of my legs or anything like that. Thank you for watching. If you guys have any questions, pop them down in the comments below. And if you would like more grooming tips, please subscribe to our channel. Until next time, happy home grooming.